We are nearing the end of class, and your statistics are looking beautiful. It is time for you to look at the data set, which is fully complex, meaning it has just a little bit of everything we have studied. We want to try to predict how many people will visit some mysterious shrine, and we have a whole bunch of variables about the year in which the number of visitors was recorded. This looks like a time series problem, which is beyond what we've done in this class, so we're saying that these are all mixed up years so that we can't try to analyze the time component. So, look at all the variables, try to see, do you see nonlinear relationships, log transformations, non-constant variance, those are all things that we should be used to dealing with and then take a look at the variables. That way you'll see that there's some collinearity which tells you model selection is going to matter. And then put in all the variables without any transformation even though you've seen that they need some and just show me that you can do the model. This is in other words show me that you can read in the correct data. And I'll give you a hint there might be some errors you're going to have to deal with. So then put in the log transformations, nonlinear curves, come up with a good model, and there's an interaction that you need to figure out between chief and at least one of them, and you need to figure out which one, and then find the interaction between some of the numerical variables and see if you can explain that. It's tricky. I made this data up, and so I know what the interaction was, but I don't think people will find it because it's not just a x times y thing. So play around with it. See how well you can try to model this. And I'll even give you a benchmark doing very simple stuff that I think someone in this class ought to be able to do. I got an R squared of 92% and S of 42. You should be able to beat that. But more important than beating this is make sure that you like the model you end up with and say, I think I have a good model. Now, you're not going to write a report. Just show me the output. Go through each of these steps. Show me the output as you're going through it. But in the next homework, you do get to do a report. So this is your chance to send it to me, and I'll take a look if you're on the right track before you spend a lot of time writing some report. And if there's something drastically wrong, we'll be able to see it and spot it and fix it beforehand. So go through this first, turn this in, I'll take a look at it, and then you'll be able to write up the report. And this is your last report before the final project. So you want to do really well. You should be getting 95, 98, maybe even 100%. So do your best on this. If there's any problems, let's make sure we find them now. And after the next homework, you'll be ready for the final project.